<laughs> I'm such a fan of both of you. I have to ask though, did y'all meet before filming this? Because there's yeah. some chemistry. Moments yeah. before, honestly. Yeah. But uh, okay. yeah, we found family the second we met. So yeah. we were very lucky. I know that can't always happen, right? Sometimes it's got to be like a lot of work to like build that kind of chemistry. Pretty it, much never happens. Yeah, it pretty <laughs> much <laughs> never happens. So one in a million. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I have to say this. We just had um, Cheryl Crow on, and she said you were roommates. She said you were messy. Is this true? <laughs> well, keyword was. OK, OK. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Maybe I've evolved. Maybe I haven't. I feel like all creative people are a little, right? Well, maybe ADHD. Oh, I, I, I just, I think, you know, I got a pile here, and that has to be done. But then you need another yeah. one there, and then there's stuff to deal with here. But you know where it's all at. Exactly. exactly. It's very organized for me. Organized chaos. Yeah. <laughs> was not organized for her. How this long did you guys live together for? About a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's the most amazing human. It's like the and most artist. talented household ever. It was incredible to <laughs> be part of. Had it. any memorable roommates? My first roommate that I had when I moved to LA. Uh, was a guy called Yanni Gelman, or is a guy? He's still a guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he still exists. But he uh, he played the love interest in uh, the Lizzie McGuire film. Yeah. You remember him? Yeah. Paolo, I believe yeah. his name was. Gorgeous, isn't he? <laughs> Beautiful guy. But yeah. uh, was he messy or? Yeah, real messy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so is it true that you had a childhood crush on Alyssa Milano? Because I was actually obsessed with Alyssa Milano because I loved Who's the Boss, I'm yeah. older than you, but I also love Charmed. I love yeah. Charmed. Charmed yeah. was my favorite show at 10 years old. Which I learned I today. Love. Which you learned, yeah, yeah. Yes! Yeah, no, it was on, a, it was on like well, once a week in Australia, like Tuesday nights, and, uh, and I loved it. See, I was, I'm older, so I liked Who's the Boss, anybody? <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> Sam. Uh -oh. Sam, oh man, I was so into it. Who were like your early crushes? I think for anyone who saw The Karate Kid would be Ralph Macchio. Yes. Mm. Um, Please tell me you did Crane. Well, no. <laughs> then I ended up working with him at 14 or 15, and then my next job was also with him. Yeah. And he was my boyfriend <laughs> in the movie we did together. <laughs> yes. So it was a very awkward experience to have your crush now get to play your boyfriend. It's like a childhood mm. dream come true. Well, we've learned a lot here. We need to get to a couple <laughs> commercials. We have someone here to help. Hi, Kelly. I'm Marion. Laura and Liam, I know you both have birthdays coming up soon. Guess what? I'm celebrating my 70th birthday. Aww. So I got my girls together to celebrate here. What a performance by Jelly Roll. He's my absolute favorite. Stay here. Kelly has more with Laura and Liam. <laughs> who are a bit lost and find themselves again through finding each other. It is very flirty. It is very cute. So tell us more about the movie. Well, first of all, the dream come true, you find yourself with Liam, um, who is the most generous and loyal and gracious gentleman uh, that any girl could find herself with on the planet. So I was so blessed. And Buddy. we, <laughs> but we <laughs> honestly, within a minute, found family and told each other everything. Um, and it's a forever relationship. And I think ultimately we were so blessed because that's what the film is about. It's about when you've lost a sense of self or never even had it, mm -hmm. you find someone in your life who sees you and truly um, understands you uh, without judgment. And in fact, the flaws are the things that are the very most interesting parts of self. Yeah. Um, and so that's the love story that we get to explore in this. I think it's an interesting concept too, that we're never really there, right? Like, you know, everybody's always like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready or I don't know if I found myself. I'm like, you're not gonna until yeah. you're dead. Like, it's like, you, hopefully, you're always yes. changing, you're always growing, you're becoming a better version of yourself, hopefully. I like that it kind of delves into that relationship-wise. I think that's interesting. Um, well, um, you feed Laura an olive in the film, <laughs> and I heard it took, I, I heard it took more than one take. How many olives did you have to eat? <laughs> I, I mean, the story is that I ate 80, 87 olives because 87, we yeah. did 87 takes, but what if they'd stopped shooting long ago and you were just torturing me? <laughs> no, 
no, I would was, barf. It was definitely at a dangerous limit of olives. I yeah, think, yeah, him. yeah. Yeah, so wait, so you acted with and produced your dad. This is yes. really fun. Yeah, you, you did that for the first time this year. So like, what was that like? It was amazing. Yeah. It was That's incredible. so powerful and cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was really special. My mother, Diane Ladd, is an amazing actor, and we'd worked together a number of times, but my father, Bruce Dern, and I had never worked together, and I produced this show, Palm Royale. Yeah, which I love. And asked yeah. him, thank you, to come on and so that we could do something together, which was an incredible gift. Yeah. Speaking of olives. Okay. Because oh, he my has an olive thing. Father has an olive thing also. Yeah. Maybe that's where I adopted What is the it. olive thing, though? Is this something with a drink or something? Like a Pepsi with olives. Pepsi with olives. As olive. one does. Sounds wow. very gross. It's very, he's a, he's a marathoner, and I think it's like the sugar and the salt after running is a big thing. Bit of good fats in there. Yeah, yeah pre, no, it makes sense. pre Gatorade. I love that a marathoner is the same thing as like a person with munchies, sweet and salty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, but that sure. sounds familiar. That's what we call it, <laughs> yeah. a marathoner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, any, any odd foods for you that you like? Yeah, uh, peanut butter and onion sandwiches. And uh, I know it's weird, but I, I had my one of my favorite movies as a child was this film called Little Monsters, which Fred Savage was in. And uh, in that movie, he wakes up in the middle of the night and goes and makes a, this sandwich, which is peanut butter and onions. And as a child, I was like, ah, oh, that sounds so interesting. And I started, I haven't done it in probably 15 years. It's not like a regular thing, but I, it did become a thing. I was going to say that kissing scene must have been <laughs> <laughs> real special. The olives and the onions kind of yeah. helped. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we heard your weird things, guys. So we, we made it, and now we're going to have to try it. So, <laughs> oh, so go boy. ahead. I'm trying it. Oh, guys. I'm trying it. You gotta okay. marinate the olives. <laughs> but it's like a martini with olives, been... right? The salty and the... It's kind of not, though, because it's not vodka or gin or... <laughs> but and Liam's totally. not totally. Yeah. Mm, that's right, that's wonderful, I'm gonna have to like, take bro. a sip. <laughs> I don't know how that hasn't become mainstream. That's incredible. That's good. Actually, not bad. <laughs> Kind of interesting, right? Yeah, I thought, wait, here's his thing. I, I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> <laughs> he was too busy with his Oh my god. Onions. Okay, I'm gonna do this. See, I don't I blame the film Little Monsters, is it? Is that yeah, what I'm okay? Little Monsters. Or just this right. interview in well, <laughs> Hold on. Exactly. I am they're not, not exactly the they're not the kind of onions that I used to use. So. <laughs> no, don't do it guys, don't do it. It's no good. He's already in. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's I think actually they've pretty good. I pickled the onions because I like anything pickled. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. That's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are solving world crises here. Um, we're we're going to finish our sandwiches while we do a commercial break. Lonely Planet is on Netflix now. Check it out.